Hey, we're doing a flex test, a uh, torsion test with our downhill boards. This is the Gaia. What I do when I, when I do a torsion test is I stand all the way on the heel and all the way on the toe and I'll try and twist it. I don't know if you're seeing anything there. Maybe a little. Look at the look at the rails, and um, if you see them twist, that's how you know what's going on there. So here we go. Here's the chiller now. That was the Gaia. That was a seven ply with fiberglass in it. This is the chiller. Chiller is noticeably stiffer, but the Gaia is pretty dang stiff. Ah. So, Gaia's, or the chiller, rather, I would call the chiller race stiff. And just for comparison, I've got my carbon seed here. Now the carbon seed ought to flex even less based on the fact that it is a um, shorter wheelbase. So it should have less, less room to flex, less body of the board to flex. But I would say, this deck is flexing, hard to tell exactly, but it feels about like the Gaia does to me. And I think the chiller is even stiffer. So uh, people who are happy with these carbon decks, um, I think you're gonna be even happier with the, uh, the fiberglass boards from the Gaia because the Gaia is less expensive and from the chiller, because the chiller is even stiffer. And that's what you got. Shaboingi.